Hi guys, aloha everyone. How are you doing today? Happy 444, magical, beautiful, blissful codes. Hello to all the star seeds out there, soul tribe, star family, divine angelic humans, everybody out there in the digital universe and all over the galaxy. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing? This is my first attempt at a screen share because I want to show you quite a few things. Um, today, I wanted to go over the energy report that I typed up a few days ago when I was tuning in to the energies of today, the 444, and what it means for us. So I'm going to try to pull up my website now, and we will see what happens here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so I would like to talk today about the 444 Energies uh, Gateway Activation today, April 4th, 2020. And when I tuned into what these codes have to teach us, what I was receiving was the Angelic Christed Human Template, which uh, is actually a 12th dimensional template, or divine DNA blueprint template, um, with the 444 Energies being um, the next gateway level activation of the 222 energies that we experienced in February. And hold on one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I had some neighbors, they're a little loud. So I just kind of wanted to review um, what I was receiving with these codes. Um, there's a lot of layers to this. So I'm gonna try to as briefly as I can go over the article that I wrote and then I will leave a link in the description box for you guys uh, because it's light encoded and it's kind of difficult to transcribe um, what you're seeing in the quantum realm into words um, in a linear construct in a way. It's really hard because you're taking these huge quantum concepts and trying to package them <laughs> into words. So I'll try to make this as brief as I can. I didn't want this to be overwhelming. Um, so I'll read a few bits and pieces of this and ad-lib it as we go. And then I will include the link uh, to the article, which is part of my blog on divinednablueprint.com um, if you want to go deeper with this. So when I tune in and see what I see or feel, the number four represents balance, equanimity, peace, and abundance. I also do resonate with it being an angelic number uh, representing our own as divine humanity, angelic humanity, um, our archangelic aspects of, of self and guidance. And I do believe that we are the earth angels. We are the galactic light beings here to spread joy, beauty, and freedom on Gaia. And so part of this initiation of the 444 gateway energies is it's a graduation. Uh, it's an initiation and it's a graduation point. Um, so with February, we had the 222 codes um, which were the master builder codes. So my experience with that and why I'm going back to that is because four is two double. So this is the next like layer up um, of these gateway activations for us. So, and I'll also put, um, actually I'll put the article to that 222, um, the link also to that in the description box. So you can see how these gateways build upon one another. So with the two two twos, um, we were invited to embody our master builder aspects. And since then, all through February, all through March till now, I would say really until the 19th, the spring equinox gateway here, um, we have been invited to assess any aspects, any duality within, which is not in alignment with our divine master builder aspects of being a conscious creator. And we've definitely been invited to do that um, with the quarantine and all of the shifts happening collectively and individually. Um, we've been having a lot more internal time kind of forced upon us to self-assess and reprioritize our identity, our focus, um, our shadow work so much. So that's really been the gist of the processing of the awakening journey um, from February until the last few weeks of March and now in April. So really um, transcending duality within, sifting and sorting identities and programs and traumas and triggers and things like that um, to release them, to become more what I say is the divine DNA 
the divine human blueprint, which is a Christed soul aspect, which is free from, if you want to say, like the pains of the past, um, free of blemishes or anything that is not our pure, true self. We are not our pain. It's part of uh, how we got here. It's part of what we signed up for to transcend, to then have wisdom and experience, but it's not our, it's not who we are. We are divine. So it's like the piece is not the whole. The whole is the whole holographic reality. So now with these 444 codes, those of us who have been doing the internal work of transcendence, um, holding divine neutrality, compassion for self and others, starting to look at service roles, um, what are we really here to do? When the matrix system no longer has us in its grasp, what are we truly here to do? This is now where we are going with the 444 codes. So once we start to purify and gain light within our body, we're all having also the ascension symptoms as we embody more and more photonic light. Now these 444 codes are the next level of the initiation to invite us to step into our Christed angelic aspects. So it's the next step of the purification process is that we are then invited to claim and command our divinity. And that's what I'm seeing with these 444 codes. There's a lot of angelic Christed frequencies. All the light codes have been off the charts coming in from the sun. And so that's the gist of what I'm talking about here in this article is cleansing and clearing all that is false, um, ancestral, um, going all the way back, you know, into galactic history to the original source of separation. So if we go back through our soul, all the fragments and pieces, maybe billions of years, I would imagine for the majority of us, that's how old our souls truly are, regardless of our biological age right now in this present incarnation cycle. So we're actually going back so deep, digging so deep into the original separation from our source, which was the start of all of the wounding and trauma and the hell of 3D. So once we integrate those pieces, which is quite a journey, takes years, can take a lifetime, um, depends on consistency and devotion to this, to uncovering and remembering, then we get the treat, um, the reward, the graduation to another level. Uh, once we have done this purification, we are invited um, to the next level of our divine destiny. And with this, it's a, it's a coronation is what came through to me. So what started with the two, two, twos started to peak um, with the spring equinox. We have a lot of purification with that renewal. We have a lot of goddess Gaia energies with the spring equinox. We also have Mary Magdalene, um, her birthday and her feast day, a ton of beautiful galactic support as well. So I was seeing these Christed energies, the Christosophia, so both the divine feminine and divine masculine, really the threefold flame of these energies starting to build on the equinox and continue to build. And I don't know about you guys, but I've definitely been exhausted. My daughter's been exhausted, my whole family. And so it's been hard to generate content or really think and create um, <laughs> linearly. So we've been spending the majority of our time outside or doing art projects or gardening. Um, because embodying these codes is a lot of work. So now we have these beautiful frequencies coming in, increasing since the uh, spring equinox. And these codes of the 444 started to come in for me on the 30th and 31st of March. And I was seeing this beautiful angelic um, Christed initiation. And after uh, today, the 444, then we are continually increasing and amping up the light code energies that are coming forth here as we go into what is traditionally uh, through the Christian narrative, Easter, and all of that symbology. So then we have uh, the resurrection of the Christ. And what I was getting from this is looking at this through a much more multidimensional lens is this is the re uh, resurrection of each one of us to step into our angelic Christed aspects. So this would be, you know, the 5D and above embodiment phase. For those of us who are ready, uh, we do this in the waves in which we are ready and everyone has a unique journey. So no one is higher, better, faster, none of that. It's, it's all in its own time. Everyone has their own divine timeline for this. Um, so 
peaking with today, the 444, and then continually peaking. So it's like we, we're not stopping in our peaking and we can feel it because it's kind of exhausting, but also really exciting. Um, as you can tell, I'm pretty tired right now. Um, so as we come into uh, next Sunday, Easter Sunday, which is the 12th, ironically, so there's 12D, the 12 or the Trinity, 12, you know, one plus two is three. When we break down the 12, making it a single number. Um, so I'm seeing these energies continually amping up, which I'm seeing the cycle is that they started on the spring equinox, continually amplifying through the 444, um, and then continually amplifying again until really the 12th and 13th of April. So this is the embodiment phase. In the 222 in February, um, we started to want to create and take charge of our creation and our beingness and take responsibility and accountability um, as a conscious creator. So that was kind of the initial like, wow, I have this power, I have this ability, I want to recreate and rebirth myself and my world from this clear and um, aligned soul filled place instead of the old traumatized ego story place. So that started to come in for those two codes, master builders. So what we're seeing now is the doubling of that, which is the 444. So we set the intention of how we wanted to create what we wanted to use to create with. And now we have been purifying and going through so much uh, collectively and individually as we detox many things and many things from the system. Um, to now graduate to this, say, okay, now I know who I am. And this is a coronation ceremony as well. So it's beautiful Sophia Christ energies, beautiful angelic templates, and the next step in our journey to the 12D angelic divine human template. Um, the 12D is what is, if you want to say, regulating um, the structures of a lot of systems that are being created now for new earth. New earth is a 5D and above, so 5D to 12D. That's the, um, the capacity that we have thus far in our galaxy is to get to the 12th dimension, and that is the divine human. That is the 144 strand divine crystalline DNA. So we are launching now in that direction. Um, see if there's anything else I want to say about this. Well, the biggest part of this initiation and where that kind of Christed energy comes in is it's not a savior complex and it's not any of the kind of more egoic uh, spiritual ego concepts that are related with the savior com uh, complex. But what this is, is unity consciousness and realizing and embodying and stepping up to the fact that what you do for yourself, you also do for others. So as we truly take on this role as an ascended Christed angelic being and being an angel for ourselves and for others through and through, we are stepping into an entirely new level of mastery here. Uh, this is mastery of intentional creation, being really mindful that everything to the best of our ability, everything we say, think, do, um, all of the motivations, all of the feelings, we're coming from the soul first and letting the ego take a back seat. And this is a transitional process. We are learning how to transition from the linear mind, 3D human, a kind of compartmentalized, fragmented, narcissistic lack consciousness to the complete opposite, which is unity, consciousness, heart-centered beingness, abundance, the paradise codes. So as we continue to clear any false systems and false beliefs from ourselves and transcend 3D and exit the matrix, we are clearing our entire grid work, which is vast. Our energy bodies go on forever. Um, I'm gonna share some meditations with that in a little while, but first we'll do first things first. So part of the importance of this is that the Christ in consciousness is that you realize the unity of all things, yourself with all of creation, with Gaia, uh, with all those you know and care about and those that you do not know. Um, we are one humanity here, transitioning together. So this is our most important mission, to then contribute for the betterment of all as a master here. What you do for yourself, you do for others. As you release fear, pain, suffering, trauma, judgment, illness, etc., you assist others in doing this. You help the planet to do this other time periods and lineages too. 
This is the process for us to graduate to living mastery as ascended masters, which then enables us to create and wear our energetic crowns as divine beings here. This is our divine destiny, our human potential, our divine DNA blueprint codes. These are the gift of this 444 gateway, our complete graduation of unity with our angelic self based upon our commitment to embodying cosmic Christ consciousness in the qualities of our words, thoughts, emotions, actions, focus, and more. I believe these are the higher dimensional 12D codes of the Corona virus, as Corona means crown. So these are the gifts of all of this, uh, if you want to call it chaos. Um, it's actually deconstruction for reconstruction. So this is the gist of this article here. I talk a lot about the process as we are releasing and purging um, the gifts of presence that we are gifted with, reprioritizing our focus and our energy and our being present in the moment, sharing it with loved ones, spending a heck of a lot more time outside. That's very important. So I hope that this energy report has helped and inspired you, um, motivated you to keep going. Um, you know, bon courage, as we say in French, like have courage, have good courage, take heart, continue to have that sacred heart, just flaming, fiery love and, and passion for bringing the light through yourself and through Gaia and keep going forward. Um, with this, we are going to actually be offering a Christ Consciousness Coronation Initiation. Um, Christopher from Thrive in Spirit and I are actually going to be offering a free uh, guided meditation and sound healing journey where he's going to be playing the didgeridoo and crystal bowls and a number of other instruments while I guide us through. We're going to actually do a heart opening, throat chakra opening, and thus accessing the higher heart because you have to have those portals open to get to the higher heart in the thymus, which is the sacred heart. So we'll be working with these angelic Christed uh, frequencies, Sophia Christ. Um, and that's going to be on Good Friday, actually, ironically, uh, the 10th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm waiting for the link for that so I can share it with you guys. But it would be lovely to have you. And again, this is a free gifted um, coronation ceremony for those of you who are interested in really stepping up to the plate and on an etheric level, accepting your divinity and saying, yeah, I, I accept this. This feels good to me. And lead the way, soul. What's the next step? So I thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing really well and taking good care of yourself and others. Remember, eat really well, drink good water, stay calm, go outside as much as possible to keep grounding the energies, sleep when you need to, have compassion for yourself and others, and enjoy. So I'll talk to you really soon, and thank you so much. Bye-bye.